Hi everyone, hello and welcome to Happy Wednesday Dollar Tree Haul. I am here, we are back together and I am always so happy to be here with you guys. I hope everybody has had a magnificent couple of days since I saw you last on Happy Monday Dollar Tree Haul. I have some pretty spectacular things I can't wait to jump in and show you. So let's just hit it today. I did find some brand new cooking concepts products for a Father's Day basket, to which I always get my husband new oven mitts, new pot holders, and some cookout wares for his Father's Day gift because he loves to cook out. He absolutely loves to grill and he is the grill master. So I found a whole new section and I wanted to grab some of the cutest things that I found so far. So I found this four piece right here from the cooking concepts. This is the corn tray set and there's four of them in here. This is perfect for your little corn on the cob on the side of your plate so that you can put it right in this little dish that will fit it perfectly. So I picked that up and it's really great that there's four in there for a dollar twenty-five, which I love that. Then we also found this right here, which is an eight piece, and these are the corn holders. So you pick these into both ends of the corn on the cob and then you swirl them and twirl them and bite them. And it makes it so much easier to just kind of twist them around and keep nibbling on them. So I picked those up right there and those are perfect for his little Father's Day basket that I always get him the cutest things. They were just starting to put it out so they didn't have absolutely everything out of the boxes but there were so many nice things to choose from this far. I can't wait to go back and see what else I can grab once everything is completely set up. Now I did find these right here and these are the deli baskets and there's four in here as well. These are a nice, strong, sturdy plastic. They're really, really cute to just build your burger and your hot dog right in there and use it as like a little eating basket. And I usually pick these up, but I don't know what I did with mine because I did try to find them the other day since we're starting to cook out now. You know, it's starting to cook out. The weather has been nicer. We've been outdoors a lot more. So I did grab more of these and hopefully I can find my other ones because they're always nice to have a multiple on hand, multiple sets. So four of these in here. And then these right here are the wax basket liners and there's 15 in this package so you just line this basket right here with these adorable adorable checkered liners and they're going to be so cute once your burger and hot dog get inside of there to just nibble and eat with the little corn holder on the side and that is just a really really cool nice looking setup so i bought all of these things to start his father's day basket with then they had a lot of their brand new pot holders in oven mitts. So this is the one that I picked up for him this year. It says grill, eat, chill, and repeat. And I love just the, uh, the red and white checkers on it. I think it's really, really cute. So I picked him up this oven mitt for this 2022 summer for him. And that is just going to be really cute in his basket as well. Then this right here is the pot holders and there are two in this one. And it says the same thing as the oven mitt did. It says grill, eat, chill, and repeat. So two of those. And there were several other just as adorable ones to choose from. So once you find it, scout around and pull them forward because there are, were some other options built behind them on the little rack. And those were just cute too. So I picked those up. And then for our patriotic cookout, I did find the whole entire brand new layout of the patriotic floral stems. They were on the little round rack that kind of twirls around. They had all the patriotic floral, uh, patriotic floral stems built right on one rack. So it was easy to just twirl it around and choose them. I picked up three of each and I think that these are just really, really beautiful and cute. So I picked up this right here and it says bouquet on it and I'm just going to intermingle these with some more just solid reds, solid whites, and solid blues and mingle them all together in a little vase 
for the table. So I picked those up. Then I also picked up these and I think that these are just absolutely beautiful. Look at how gorgeous those are with the little, little glitter stems. Um, the little glitter buttons in the middle. I mean, how cute and the blue little glitter button in the middle, just really cute centers. It makes it really pop, I think. So I picked up three of these as well. And these do just say bouquet also. So I grabbed these and I thought that those were just adorable. Now I also picked this one up right here. And how cute is this little guy? This little gnome, he came, um, there was one other one, but I liked this one more because he was a little bit more jazzed up with the blue and the star hat. The other one was a little bit more plain and played down. So I did grab him. He does have beans in his bum. So there is a good weight to him. And I think it will look really cute set by the little stars and stripes floral stems once I arrange it on the table in the centerpiece for our cookout on the 4th of July. So really adorable. So, so cute. He is a little ham and I am probably going to embellish him just a little bit more and jazz him up just a bit. So I grabbed him and I thought he was cute as a button. Then I found these nails right here and I thought that these would be cute to wear around the 4th of July as well. This is the fashion nails right here and seven, seven nails, seven nails. I hope that's what that says. There's 12 pieces in here and I love that they're red French tips. So I just think that these would be really cute to wear on that day while we're all dressed up in our red, white, and blue. I also found this set right here and I thought that these were really cute with the leopard and the red mixed together. There's 12 pieces in this one as well and neither one of these packages, um, the, neither one of them include glue. So I would have to probably find some more glue because I am running out. So I do need to scout that out the next time I go to the store, but I think that these are really attractive nails. I'm trying to give my nails a little bit of a break. My hands have been like through the mill. My hands have been super dry lately and I've been having a lot of trouble, you know, trying to get just so much hand sanitizer, so much washing and they are dry as dry can be. But I have some lotion over here. I can't wait to show you. We'll get to that in a minute. I did find these beautiful, beautiful galvanized um, metal signs right here. And I absolutely loved this one. This one says gratitude. Yes, that's what it says. Gratitude. I think it's really, really beautiful and pretty. It does have the twine string right here to be able to hang it up. And I just think it's really a beautiful, beautiful piece. And I love the word in the middle. So that was a brand new find I had not seen before. And then I also found this one and I love chickens. I absolutely love chickens. And in the fall, I do like to decorate with like chicken themes and stuff and like farmers, you know, type of decorations and stuff. I think it's really cute to have like chickens everywhere, chicken pictures and figurines. And I thought that this was really, really cute for this metal sign right here. And I might actually tie a patriotic ribbon around his neck and stick him out somewhere in the decorations outside once we have our 4th of July cookout. So I picked him up and I thought he was just adorable and it does have the twine string to be able to hang him up as well. So really, really cute. I love him so much. Now I also did grab one of the Hunt's ketchups and this is a really good pickup because Hunt's even at the grocery store that I went to the other day and was trying to just like compare prices, it still was a dollar twenty nine. And, you know, it's only a couple of cents, but four pennies is four pennies, right? And so this is $1.25 at the Dollar Tree, or I would have paid $1.29 for it at the grocery store. So I did pick this up just to have on hand. My son's graduation party is at the end of the month too. So we're going to be doing a cookout for that as well. I'm going to try to pull some condiments together to put out on the table and get things ready for that. So I did grab those and I was happy to have found them. 
Um, so now I did find some cute, uh, I've bought these before, but I'm so happy to see them back out, but they're yard stakes. And I think that they are beautiful. I love, love, love the tulips. They are so, so pretty. So these are a pinwheel, it says. I've actually never seen them pinwheel. Um, maybe like I've, the, the wind doesn't catch it right. I don't know. And we're super windy over here. So I don't really know why these don't twirl. But really when you set them out, they are just an attractive, you know, yardstick. I, once they're all gathered together and I line them up throughout my garden and stuff, I think that they are so pretty. So I grabbed one of each color for now. I grabbed this blue one right here. Then I also grabbed the yellow one and so pretty vibrant and sunshiny really really cute just stakes into the ground really well and then i picked up the pink one the pink one is a really pretty like fuchsia color then i also picked up the orange one and that is such a pretty flower and then a purple one and i have to say i think the purple one is my favorite of all the colors so I grabbed these and they're all so pretty. I can't wait to stick them out and then I'll take a picture of the bouquet of them sitting all together and how vibrant and beautiful they are. I had those out in the yard on my wedding day once we had to like redo the whole yard to have a wedding at home because our wedding had gotten canceled because of COVID. Um, and I had a backyard wedding with six people and those looked so pretty, kind of just speckled all throughout the yard in the pictures. So I was happy to have found those again and I can't wait to pick up more, but they were kind of like just, there was like three purple ones and there was one orange one. So I'm going to wait until they all get out together and then I'll pick up multiple more at the same time so that I don't forget which ones I need. So now lotion, let's talk about my hands being dry and getting some new lotion for the car so that I have it in my bag, in the car, in my room. I picked up this one right here, which is grapefruit. It's a grapefruit and how cute is this little case right here? This is a one fluid ounce and it's scented hand cream. So I thought that was just super duper cute. There were a ton to choose from. They had a unicorn one that was vanilla. They had a couple of different watermelon ones. They had this grapefruit one. So they, and they all had little different animals on it and magical creatures. So I picked up this one right here for the bag and I smelled it and it smells wonderful. And then I picked up my girl here and this is a mermaid and this is watermelon. This is the watermelon one and watermelon is one of my favorite scents for a candle, for body spray, for lotion, for anything. I love the watermelon scent. This is one fluid ounce right here as well. So I picked up that one. Then I found this, okay? I found this, and this is utterly smooth hand cream. Absorbs fast without greasy residue. Original formula, clinically uh, clinically proven 24-hour moisture, uh, moisture, moisturization. <laughs> There we go. Moisturization. That's what I was trying to say for rough dry skin. And this is two ounces. This is a fantastic, fantastic lotion. My grandpa that had working man hands always used to buy this at Walmart, he used to buy this at the grocery store when he would find it. And this is a fantastic, fantastic lotion. So I was happy to have grabbed that. That is really going to help me out. And my grandpa was a hard working man. And so he was always needing to treat his hands after all of his work hours. And this is a really good pickup. So I was super happy to find that. So I have plenty of lotion now on hand to get my hands feeling much better than they do right now. I did find some Spa Naturals Luxury Collection. This is the Aromatherapy Shower Fizzes. So Richie wanted to actually try these. He 
he was interested in these. These are eucalyptus and spearmint, energizing essential oil fizzes. And there's three of them in here. So he found these. He's like, you know what? I think I want to give those a shot and see if it, you know, just, you know, makes the shower smell nice and gives it like a soothing feeling being in the shower. So I said, put those babies in the cart. Put those babies right on in the cart, my man. So we picked these up and I will let you know how these work out. And um, they've been coming out with a bunch of different shower fizzes that seem to be like really, really nice. The lavender ones that I showed you guys that were in like the Mother's Day section, those worked really well. I enjoyed those very much in the shower. And so hopefully those will be just as great too and he'll, he'll enjoy them. Then he also picked up his dandruff shampoo and this isn't always on the shelf. So grab it when we can, when the Dollar Tree has it, because when we pick up dandruff shampoo, it's usually about $3 or so like Walmart, things like that. This is salon designs, everyday clean dandruff soap. Um, it helps relieve itching dryness light flaking for all hair types contains same active ingredient as head and shoulders so we've picked this up before it works perfectly well it helps him out with his dry skin and you know it's just a really really good thing so 12 fluid ounces on this as well we picked up a couple of those because they had them and we decided to stock right up on those babies now i will tell you i am sick as a dog um, I'm feeling better this afternoon, so I decided to distract myself and be here with you guys and spend some quality time so that I could get up out of bed and try to function. I have been sick as sick can be with the stomach bug for the last um, 24 hours or so. Well, more than 24 hours now because um, it hit like midday on Tuesday and no, midday on Monday and um, I'm I'm in need of a little electrolytes at the moment. I think my body had finally had a day where it was quiet after like a week and a half of pure madness, chaos, emotional upheaval. And I got the stomach bug that Fritchie originally started with. So I've been trying to eat saltines drink some electrolytes a little bit this afternoon. It is making me feel better, but I, my mouth is so dry right now. I just needed a little sip of that really quick, but sitting here with you guys is making me feel a little bit better. I am so happy to be up out of bed. I laid down from one o'clock yesterday, um, cause today is Tuesday when I'm recording. I laid down from yesterday at one o'clock on Monday and I didn't get out of bed until like 5 30 tonight and I'm recording this late because I'm feeling a little better now and so I decided to get out of bed and spend some time with you guys put a little smile and cheer on my face so that I could be in my happy place so that is what we're doing now, I did find some more wee wee pads here, and I have to get these for my dog whenever I find them. I love this lavender scented one. There's four pads in here. She is trained to go on a wee wee pad in the house. I actually got her when she was a year old, and she was already trained to go on wee wee pads. And um, so that is just the way that we've always worked out. She has designated areas that she has her wee wee pad moments, and then we, um, I really like the lavender scent because it keeps it really fresh smelling. And these are, these are a good pickup for me. So I pick up multiple of those whenever I can find them. We, months ago, we had a wee wee pad shortage and I was so panicking. I couldn't find them anywhere. They didn't have them even at other stores. I was so stressed out trying to find wee wee pads a few months ago. So thankfully they've been in and they've been stocked you know, right along now for, for a while. And so now I'm panicked though. So whenever I find them, I get tons of them so that I don't have ever have to be in that position again. Um, now my honey boat, my honey boo boo, he does love these sugar-free wafers right here. 
he loves these he thinks that these are super good and they're nice for just a little sweet moment for him and they are the sugar free there's 4.2 ounces in here so that is what these are and they're vanilla so these are yummy i picked him up multiple packages of these just so that he can feel like he can have a treat too if anybody else around him is and i grabbed those to have on hand for my son's graduation party so that he will be able to to nibble on something as a treat when everybody else is like having their treat stuff so I picked that up then I also picked him up some of his coffee filters I'm trying so desperately right now to find his little coffee bags that I pick up from the Dollar Tree they haven't had them in stock in a while the ones that kind of look like Dunkin Donuts packaging like knockoffs um that's his favorite and so I need to find those because he's running low. And this is Fresh Cups coffee filters. There's 150 coffee filters in here. So I snagged these for him because I found them and he needed them. So I wanted to pick those up. And now I'm going to go back out tomorrow, hopefully, once I'm feeling really much better. And go try to find him his coffee for replenishing his stash under his um, coffee bar area. Now, oh my heavens, I found some of the cutest, cutest bags I've ever seen. And you know I love the gift bags at the Dollar Tree. They come in every shot, you know, every shape, every size, different decorations on them pertaining to anything and everything you could possibly celebrate. But how cute is this? Let's party, it says. It has the white little ribbons up there. For handles and will you look at this big nice sized bag and that cute giraffe right there that is literally ready to party he's ready to party he is so cute with his little tutor in his mouth what a hunk what a hunk what a hunk of burn and love so really amazing size bag right there so i did pick up this bow um and this is three pieces right there so they come in three different parts that you can pull off of and i thought that this bow right here would be really pretty with this bag and we have several birthdays coming up like throughout the throughout the months of the summertime and stuff so even though i like to decorate with my bags and to collect them and stuff for decorative purposes they are going to be perfect for gifting some of the things that i have coming up soon so look at how beautiful the colors are all intermingled into these beautiful little ribbon curls right there. So I just think that these are beautiful, 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 and they went really nicely with that bag. Now this bag also, how cute is this? This one is the elephant. It says yay on it. It says yay and he has roller skates on. He has little roller skates. How sweet is he? So, so amazingly cute. He is a little doll. He's all dressed up to party. He has his little party hat on and he's just cute as a button. So I grabbed him and um, this is the inside of the bag right there. Really, really cute. Another great sized bag. So I picked him up and he's just a little looker and this bag I picked up this bow for. So I thought that this was a really, really cute addition to that bag for a ribbon curl. So this is what this one looks like. This one is kind of cool because it's a different texture than the other one. It's more of like a paper ribbon curl. It has like all the bendies right there. And they, they just kind of like crimped a little bit. So I thought that those were really new and different. And the colors together look really, really just amazing. Really amazing. Vibrant and beautiful. And this is a two-piece right there of bows. So I love this. I would wear that in my hair. I certainly would. I would definitely wear that in my hair and be all dolled up with my ribbon curls. Sometimes I like to do like two little buns right there when I have longer hair and I would stick those ribbon curls in them to jazz my my buns up. My little my little pom-pom buns. 
my hair is getting longer already so we're about to start doing that stuff back to my hair again and being able to pull it up and my high funky bun that we haven't seen in quite a while so I'm excited to to start doing things with my hair again now I did pick up this book again I found it again I hadn't haul haul I hauled this maybe like I would say maybe three four months ago but I did find another one and I thought it would be a really really nice gift for one of those bags to put inside of and this was a fantastic find I actually bought one for myself I gifted one away already so this was glitter forever 17s this is delicious doodle dreams by YouTube star Braylon um Braylon Emery I hope I'm saying her name right so this book is a nice, big, huge, thick paperback book, and it has so many really cool things in here to do. So here's a couple of the pages in here. Right there it says, um, don't forget to share your art on Instagram. It says, uh, it says make a, a, a deconstructed cookie, assemble all the ingredients of your favorite kind of cookie, and use them to create a cool design so and then it gives you the page right there to write all that in on so really really cool this says scrumptious scrumptious scribbles in this section get creative with lettering so it just has really really neat cool things to do in here awesome prompts to go through and and scribble and doodle so I picked that up as another gift to give away for when I am doing our birthday packaging. So that is it. Happy Wednesday Dollar Tree haul. I love you guys so, so much. I can't wait to feel 100% better again and just feel like my old self. <laughs> I can't wait to just like put all of these last couple of weeks behind us, move forward, look forward to feeling good in this whole entire household, getting back to good times, good memories, and connecting with you guys is always a blessing to me. So I was so happy that I felt a little better this evening and was able to hop on and do this happy Wednesday Dollar Tree haul with you guys. I love you all so incredibly much. If you wouldn't mind, please like, share, subscribe, comment down below, and hit the bell notification so that you are aware every single time that I upload a new video. I do Dollar Tree hauls here on this channel on Saturdays, Mondays, and Wednesdays, and I absolutely adore every single one of you and love to get to know you every single video comments down below mean everything to me I, the last couple of weeks I have fallen behind for the first time ever and I really have diligently tried to do the best I can to catch up on comments and stuff I am going to try to do a little bit more in the next couple of days to get back on track with that because I miss talking to you guys and connecting with you. And I know there's so many comments that I haven't gotten to yet. So please just watch for me to reply because I am going to get back to you. I try to do a little bit every single day. The last, you know, 20, 30 hours has not, I haven't even picked up my phone more than like three times. Um, so I am going to try to do some tomorrow starting in the morning once I wake up and get back to everybody here that has taken the time out of their day to spend time with me. I love you guys so incredibly much. And also, please, if you would not mind, always, always, always be good to one another, kind to one another, pleasant and affect each other in such a positive, loving way out here in the world. We all need it so desperately just to have good people around us. And I am so fortunate to know every single one of you. And I am sure that in your everyday life, the people that you're surrounded with are just as happy to be a part of you as well because the way that you make me feel as a human being is such a blessing in my days and I just I thank you guys like with everything inside of my being for just being good human beings. Now also 
I have not had a chance yet to do the 1,400 subscriber giveaway. We are about to do that now. My friend Caitlin, what a little love muffin she is. She is so sweet, so generous, so kind, and so thoughtful. She has decided that she wanted to forward a couple more things to offer you guys in a giveaway for my channel. So she said if you want these i will send them to you and then you can give them away because i already have some and i can't find anybody else that i can gift them to so if you want to use them for a giveaway then here you go so she gave me this this was at the dollar tree quite a while ago i had picked them up and hauled them way back when when they were out this is the salon quality flat iron accessory set it has a flat iron holder folding the styling comb heat resistant case it's from style house and so this right here is one of the things that is going to be offered in the giveaway and then right here is the um sphinx i think i and this is the all-in-one portable razor this is the carry-on friendly shave everything you need to shave on the go and designed for the girl on the go perfect for miss spots and touch-ups and this one is teal it comes with a spray a lather and a shaver it's good for the car the purse the gym bag or luggage and this was at the dollar tree also it ha they had a pink one and a teal one and i picked these up also way back when kept one for myself and gifted the rest away so for her to offer these now to everybody that maybe wasn't able to find these at the Dollar Tree when they were out then this this and this is what you could win if you want to comment down below and enter the giveaway now you have to be 18 years and older you also have to be subscribed to my channel you have to like my videos when you watch them and comment down below that would be really helpful because those three main things are what really helps my channel to grow and for us to reach more wonderful people to bring them into our loving community here and um so that that is what we're going to do. And so leave down in the comments below if you want to enter for this 1,400 giveaway. Leave down in the comments below a rainbow. Leave me either the rainbow emoji or hashtag rainbow. Put the hashtag and the word rainbow all together, no spaces, so that it highlights it, so that I can pull it out of the comment easy, and I will be able to recognize and see your name. And then give me until Friday evening to announce the giveaway winner. Um, I need some days. I, I'm going to take the rest of this week to really, really try to feel my best and really just take the rest of this week off. I'm not going to do it anything the rest of this week. I'm going to take care of myself so that by next week, hopefully we will be feeling much better. All of us, Richie will be feeling much better as the days go on. He is doing really, really good and he's on track. So I'm very thankful for that. And, but we just want to keep the momentum going and keep on that upward climb for all of us. And now I have to get over this little feeling that I have going on the last, you know, 30 hours. And hopefully that will be all said and done. And then we can go on to better, better days. So that is it. I love you guys so incredibly much. Please be happy, healthy, safe, strong, loved, blessed, kind to one another forever and ever and ever and always. And I will see you guys on happy Saturday Dollar Tree Hall. And then you will see an announcement for the giveaway winner on Friday evening at some time point in the later part of the evening. I love you guys. Have a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day. Bye everyone.